fact, we were scheduled to speak with Catalina's principal yesterday for our original story. He canceled, saying in part it would violate the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act, or FERPA. This afternoon, he called us saying he had changed his mind and would like to speak with us. So this evening, we sent Marcelino Benito to do just that. He joins us now with Not On Your Side continuing coverage. Marcelino. Principal Rex Scott is charged with making sure 1,200 plus students at Catalina are kept safe. But the Mabin family says their daughter slipped through the cracks. They have the records to prove something went wrong. And tonight, Scott tells Nine on Your Side his side of the story. He says he and his staff handled the Mabin case the right way and by the book. Did Catalina Hyde, in your position, do everything right? Absolutely. Catalina Magnet High School principal Rex Scott is not backing down. Tonight, he tells Nine on Your Side his staff followed the law. I certainly understand their frustration and their anger. I'm a parent myself, as well as uh, being the principal at this school. But I believe that we have done everything that we can to respond to their concerns. Scott says the assailant who attacked the Mabin's daughter faced severe punishment. The attacker was found guilty of a level four offense. Nine on your side discovered the punishment for that is anywhere from 11 to 45 days suspension. Uh, you need to understand that the decision to meet out a consequence under the student rights and responsibilities is my responsibility. The decision to arrest is the responsibility of the police. The Mabins asked the school to call police the day of the attack. That call was made, but canceled. We wanted to know why. Why was that call canceled? Why didn't the police show up? The police did show up. True, but not till the next day. We never got a straight answer explaining the canceled call to 911. Scott says he wasn't the administrator on duty. And that's where assistant principal Mr. Barry comes in. Records show he's the one who was asked to call police back when the suspect returned, but he never did, saying, quote, it was for the betterment of the school. What did your assistant principal mean by for the betterment of their school? Is that listed in the police report as a direct quote, or is that uh, the officer's report? It's the officer's report. Okay. I dispute that that was a direct quote by our assistant principal. We asked again. You are disputing the fact that your assistant principal ever said for the betterment of their school and you did not support him in that statement. Uh, what I am disputing is him saying that we somehow evaded action based on the betterment of the school. Those are his words, his characterization, and they do not hold up, stand up to scrutiny. Just to be clear, Scott is questioning the police officer's account of what was said that day. Of course, all of that is in this police report. I also asked Scott if he thinks bullying is a problem at Catalina High. He says it's not, but it does happen every so often, and when it does, they take appropriate action. All right, so a few answers tonight, but does the district plan to investigate any further, or is this a done deal? Well, I talked to several board members today. They say they're very concerned mm -hmm. about what's going on. They've sent several emails to district officials seeking those answers, and of course, we'll stay on top of it. All right, thanks, Marcelino. And uh, we just want you, our Not On Your Side viewers, to know that uh, we are not going away on this. We will continue to stay on top of this story.